Hi everyone, I am Serbi, your math teacher. So in this video, uh, we'll be solving another math problem. So ito yung tinatawag na geometric sequence. Sa last video, uh, nag-solve tayo ng arithmetic sequence wherein uh, yun yung sequence na may common difference or yung next term para makuha, kailangan mo lang mag-add. So dito, sa geometric sequence, Ito yung sequence na makukuha mo yung next term by multiplying. So, meron silang tinatawag na common ratio. Okay? So, here is the breakdown of the geometric sequence formula. So, we have this formula. A sub n equals to a sub 1 times r raised into n minus 1. Wherein, a sub n is the n term. A sub 1, that is the first term. r is the common ratio. And then n is the position of the term, or the term position. So, in this video, we have uh, two examples, uh, two sequence, wherein the problem is to find the missing term as well as the general formula for the given sequence. So, let us start. Let us answer this uh, math problem. So, for item number one, we have this sequence, two, 4, 8, and then 16. So the first problem is to find the missing term or the next term. Okay? So as we can observe, 2, 4, 8, 16. So to get the next term 4, we multiply lang tayo ng 2 sa first term. Our first term is 2, correct? So, 2 times 2, we get 4. And then, yung 8, para makuha yung 8, mumultiply lang tayo ng 2 dito sa 4. So, times 2. Okay, another, to get uh, the 4th term, which is 16, multiply 2 dito sa 8. So, using this pattern, the next term would be found by what? Multiply tayo ng 2 sa 16 times 2 dito. So the correct answer is 32. Since 16 times 2 is 32. So ito yung sequence na merong tinatawag na common ratio. So the common ratio here is 2. Bakit tinawag na common ratio? Diba pag ratio nagdi-divide. So 4 divided by 2, that is 2. 8 divided by 4, that is 2. 16 divided by 8, that is 2. 32 divided by 16, that is 2. So the common ratio is 2. So, ano yung formula for this sequence? Uh, we will now be using this uh, formula for the geomet geometric sequence. So the formula would be a sub n equals a sub 1. What is a sub 1? Our a sub 1 is the first term, which is Okay, we have 2 here, and then the common ratio, which is r, the common ratio is 2. Our r in this uh, sequence is 2. Since para makuha yung next term, multiply tayo ng 2. And then, raise into n minus 1. Okay, now, as you can see here, we have 2 and 2, and Yung 2 na nasa parenthesis, raised into n minus 1. So, we can now apply the law of exponents. Ano? So, we have 2 raised into 1 times 2 raised into n minus 1. Okay? So, now, diba, same base, 2 and 2. So, kailangan lang natin i-add yung exponents. So, we have what? 2 raised into 1 plus 2n, I mean n, sorry, we have n minus 1. Kailangan lang natin i-add yung exponents. We have, copy natin yung base, that is 1, yung exponent ng uh, 2 raised into 1, 1, exponent nito, n minus 1. So the answer would be what? The answer is, 2 raised into n. So this is the formula for this sequence.
Okay. For item number two, we have this sequence. So item number two, we have the sequence one, three, uh, nine, and then twenty-seven. So what would be the next term? Okay. As we can see, we have 1, 3, 9, 27. So 1 times 3, that is 3. Correct? And then 3 times 3, that is 9. And then 27 is just 9 times 3. So meaning, the next term is what? The next term is 81. Since 27 times 3, is equal to 81. So, napakadali lang. Kasi magmumultiply lang tayo ng 3. <clears throat> so, ibig sabihin, sa sequence na to, ang common ratio natin ay, ano? Common ratio is 3. Okay? Gets? So, now, what would be the general formula for this sequence? So, anong gagawin natin? Ang gagawin natin, agamitin natin itong formula. So we have a sub n, a sub n is equal to a sub 1. What is our a sub 1? a sub 1 is the first term of the sequence, and that is 1. 1 times r, what is r? r in this sequence is 3. The common ratio is 3. Common ratio is 3. Okay? Then eventually, we have to... Uh, raise this 3 to n minus 1. n minus 1. Now, 1 times 3 raised into n minus 1. So that is equivalent to 1. That is equal to 3 raised into n minus 1. So this is the general formula for the sequence in item number 2. And to raise into n is the general formula for the sequence in item number 1. So, since this is the general formula for the given sequence, you can check. If n is equal to 1, to raise into 1, that is 2. If n is equal to 2, to raise into 2, that is 4. If n is equal to 3, to raise into 3, that is 8. If n is equal to 4, to raise into 4, that is 16. Meaning, this is really correct. Okay, how about 3 raised into n minus 1? Let us check. If n is equal to 1, this becomes 3 raised into 1 minus 1, that is equal to 3 raised into 0. And 3 raised into 0 is what? Any non-zero number raised into 0 is equal to 1. So that is 1. If n is equal to 2, 3 raised into 2 minus 1 equals 3 raised into 1. So equals 3. If n is equal to 3, this becomes 3 raised into 2, that is 9. If n is equal to 4, that is 3 raised into 4 minus 1 equals 3 raised into 3, and that is 27. So, meaning, this formula is the correct formula for this given sequence. Okay? So, how about let us answer this uh, sequence? So, we have... 4 8 16 and then 32 So what would be the next term and the general formula? Okay? Please comment now your answer. Thank you. Please like and subscribe my YouTube channel, sir. Thank you. Enjoy watching and keep learning.